back to the channel. Coyote Cole here. Just wanted to give you guys a quick video on how I detail or wash my cars. So it's a step-by-step -step process. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I want to do it quickly so that you guys can enjoy washing your vehicle. So step number one is a rinse, just rinse the whole car off. A lot of people are against this because they think that it dilutes their product that they're going to put on the car. It doesn't, especially if your car has any form of wax already on it, the water's going to bead. So it's not that big of a deal. But even if your car doesn't, rinse it off. Knock off as much of that gunk and dirt and tire shine that got slung up the side of it, all that stuff off of there as you can. You don't have to get too detailed into it, but just knock a bunch of it off. Then you're going to mix into your foam cannon. If you don't have a foam cannon, then you can just hit it with some soap. But I use a foam cannon. I hope you have a foam cannon. A foam cannon, but can't talk. Um, and I love my foam cannon. It's just an armor all one. I hate armor all, but I love their foam cannon. I just, I like it. But anyway, I use their foam cannon and I use Groit's Garage um, car shampoo. It's this guy right here, it's their car wash. You can see I, I love it. This is like my fourth bottle. I absolutely love their stuff. And it's a big bottle. It lasts a long time. I mean, I've, I've been buying that for a long time. But after I've rinsed the car off, I hit it with the foam cannon. I just cover the whole car in, in foam. Then I let it sit for anywhere from 30 to 50 seconds. You don't want it to dry onto the car, but you want it to actually, you want the car to kind of soak it up, so to speak. Um, once you've done that, then you're gonna take and rinse it right back off. You're not gonna brush it. A lot of people are like, oh, wow, why wouldn't you go ahead and brush it? It's soaked up, I'm wasting soap. No, that soap is eating a lot of that stuff off of there that you would have rubbed in with your brush and scratched your paint or made your paint nastier than it was to begin with. So then once that's done, then you're gonna hit it with the water again and make sure it's wet. You're gonna have a two bucket method. So you're gonna have bucket number one is full of soap, that's your wash bucket. You put a wash mitt in there, your brush in there. Bucket number two is just full with room temperature water. It ain't gotta be room temperature, it can be cold, it can be hot, I don't care, whichever one you want. That bucket is for rinsing your wash mitt or your brush. So you're gonna hit the, the car with it and then rinse it off to get all that gunk off of your wash mitt or off of your brush and then hit it with the soapy water again. But we'll get there. Next step is gonna be your rims and tires. So before you even start washing the paint, all you've done is rinse it, hit it with foam can and rinse it off. You're gonna hit your rims and tires all the way around the car first. I don't wanna wash my rims and tires after I've completely detailed my car because then it ha I risk throwing up some of that wheel cleaner or iron remover, anything that's on there mixed in with those chemicals back up onto the paint after it's already been cleaned. And I can throw some dirt and grime, grease, whatever you can think of back up onto the paint too. I don't wanna do that. So what I do is I do my rims and tires first. So if it does get on the paint, it's not that big a deal. Then I'm gonna take my wash buckets and I'm gonna wash the whole vehicle. Start from the top, work your way down. I know you've seen that or heard that from some video if you've watched any video about how to detail your car. Once you've, I, I tell people it's like taking a shower. You're not gonna wash your, your tail and then start washing your face. You're gonna wash your face first. So you're gonna start up front or up top, work your way down the front, down the back, down the sides, then get the bottom of the car. Once that's done, you're gonna rinse the car back down. Now, I use, in that method, I use a shampoo, a car shampoo, not a ceramic shampoo or a wash and wax. No, you're trying to get everything off the car. You don't want the, the car to shine yet. You're just getting it clean. Clean and shining are two totally different things. So you wanna get everything off of there. I use what I call a dry shampoo. That means that it's gonna, it, it's not gonna leave anything on the car. So once the car is completely clean, then you're gonna wanna take and dry the car completely off. It's completely done, dry it off. I use a blower, like a leaf blower. It's an electric one made by steel. It's not, this video is not sponsored by anybody. This is just what I use, I'm just telling you. So I use an electric one um, and I go around the car two or three times, hit the rims two or three times and I'm done. It works perfect. I don't risk scratching my paint at all because I'm using just air and I'm just blowing the water off. Once the car is completely dry and clean, I roll it back in here to the shop then I start with a compound process. This is to cut the paint or to take swirls out of your paint. If this is not for you, you're gonna skip this step and go straight to wax. But if you're trying to get rid of swirl marks or get rid of anything and have that reflection right there that, that this car's got, 
you're gonna wanna use this step. So you can use any kind of compound you want. I, I, it's up to you. I use Groit's Garage Compound. Um, there's two of them that I like. Number one is three in one. It waxes, polishes, and cuts your paint. So it's gonna fix all your swirls and your little imperfections in your paint, but it's also going to polish and make the paint shine really good and wax it to have some protection on there. Or you can just use a one-step compound, which is I, what I use. Um, the one-step compound's not really as simple to use. The three-in-one is more of a be beginner's compound. It's something that's beginner friendly. You're not gonna burn your paint. You, you don't have to stress out about it. But I start off in one section, like if I wanted to just do this fender here, I would start on that fender and then I would not move from that fender until I was happy with the turnout of it and I wiped it down and was done. Then I would move to another section like the door or the bumper or the hood, some, somewhere else and just do that one section, then the next section, then the next section. So. That's what I do for that. Now, this is not waxing the car. You are not done once you finish this process. Once the whole car is completely buffed and all your swirls are out and you're happy with the way the paint looks, then you're gonna put a protectant on there. So it can be either a ceramic wax or just a carnauba wax, it doesn't matter. I like carnauba waxes. My favorite wax is from Majestic Solutions. It's called Black Mamba. Really hard to get, but it shines, it works good. So uh, we used it on the Ferrari as well and it, gleams but any kind of carnauba wax is going to make your car shine it just is i don't care if you're putting turtle wax on there it's going to make the car shine if it's a carnauba wax but then you're going to want to use um if you're using groids garage you're going to want to use a red foam pad i use the microfiber one for the step that we just talked about which is cutting the paint it's like a wool pad um and it it, it does a really good job for getting rid of swirl marks imperfections little scratches stuff like that discoloration it, it does a really good job but then you're going to want to jump into waxing the car with a red pad or you can use a yellow pad but i prefer the red one it's a little sleeker it's not gonna you're not gonna damage your paint you can sit there wide open it's not gonna burn it nothing like that and you're gonna want to use your your wax on there you're gonna do anywhere from three to four dime size plops of your wax onto the foam pad you're gonna do one section at a time just like you're buffing the car and you're gonna shine the hell out of it. I mean, it is going to look so good. The wax is gonna make it shine and it's gonna protect it. And once you're done with that, wipe the whole car down and enjoy it. So I've got a few clips I'm gonna let roll just of me kind of, you know, skipping steps and having fun, but doing what I wanna do to my car. Um, but that's, that's, step by step what i try to do every time i wash my car this last time my car really wasn't dirty because i had just washed it before filming so i i skipped the bucket method i skipped a few things but just to you know show you guys kind of what i do and then on the buffing process of it so i'll tell you guys a little bit more about what what products i really enjoy using and stuff like that so enjoy these clips What's up guys so this is the groitz garage complete compound that i was telling you guys about um this is what i use pretty much every time i buff my car to try to get rid of any kind of swirl marks imperfections in the paint anything like that um, i'm using the groitz garage buffer as well 
which is a great beginner friendly buffer. It has six different speeds on it. And then I'm also using the Groitz Garage microfiber wool pad. So this pad is gonna be your best bet for cutting the paint essentially to get rid of any kind of swirls, any kind of scratches, anything that you don't like about your paint, that's gonna be your best pad. So enjoy these clips on me buffing my Mustang. flash on and uh, just so you guys can see the difference here so last night I did that side of the the hood and then that fender and then I also did the door but we're gonna redo the door today all I did so far was this fender and this part of the hood and we kind of overlapped where we had already hit but that's okay so I wanted to show you guys I've got the flash on on the phone the 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 swirls are gone it doesn't there I guess you can kind of see like it, it literally ate up a, major, a majority of the swirls. I mean, there's still a little bit, but I mean, you can't get it perfect. It's white paint. It's only gonna mirror so well. But to show you guys a little difference, this is a spot where I haven't done yet. And you can, you can see, you see those swirls and then you see all the black imperfections in the paint. And then even like on that light right there that's reflecting right oh, right here, that light you can see swirls. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not happy with the paint right here, but that's what it looked like all around the car. Appreciate it guys and stay tuned.